Okay, guys, I'm here today, Fabiano Scherer, huge honor for me, the Pega Levy. <laughs> and uh, guys, for those, those who doesn't know him, uh, he has won the World Masters in the Black Belt Division more than 10 times. And uh, he's one of the people in the world who has almost like broke the record of getting the Black Belt too fast. So he got his Black Belt in less than four years of Jiu Jitsu. And uh, he's also the Jiu Jitsu coach of Chao Sonny which is like uh, one, was one of the best MMA uh, fighters out there. And guys, uh, Fabian just shot an entire structure all about bottle game attacks. And today he's gonna show us one submission here that's super, super, super cool and I had never seen before. And uh, super excited to share with you guys. So it's almost like a shoulder lock from the initials, right? Uh, yeah, it's a, a mix from between shoulder lock and uh, choke. lapel choke, yes. Yeah, and knee shield, so mm -hmm. check this out, guys. So I like uh, really like my bottom game here is, is what I do best from the bottom. I really like the open half guard concept with the knee shield. So my knee shield, you know, is a uh, uh, really tough to pass and, you know, gives me that all that really good movement on my hip, right? So one of the things I do here to bait this guy, you know, I, I like to make people comfortable in a way that, you know, like what I'm going to do, they don't start like really you know, getting like all the red lights, you know, the alarm going off. So I don't, I don't like to go like a, up there, but this one, you know, just across right here. Do that grip where, you know, so Bernard now doesn't feel like he needs to do any defense on that grip, right? So I do it in his shield in there and uh, regardless if it's pushing on me or not, you know, so that's fine. Okay, I have a good control in here. Now, he knows that I can go there. He knows I can go there, right? What he doesn't know is I can go there. But this is crazy. Ah, that's crazy. So it's almost like a, it feels like almost like you're doing Ezekiel on my arm or something, but goes for a shoulder. Yeah, like, it's, I, it's crazy. Like I get the rear naked choke, rear naked choke on there. my arm. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You know what I mean? And uh, so it's, like I said, it's a mix of, uh, you know, shoulder lock and lapel. Yeah. With the gi, you know, it's all, all the movements. You see, I, I, I'm not really tight in here, yeah. but still working. When I go there, you see, I create that window there yeah. where I shoot my arm to the yeah. sky. Yeah. Now I open my elbow so I can cut down here and then I bring my elbow over my hand. Now I have that lock, okay? Now let's say if uh, the lapel is not doing the choke, I can ah. do the shoulder lock, okay? Lapel is good, lapel gets that. Okay, and this is also, you know, what I like is if those two fail, we still being able to pull something out because almost like 100% of the time when I go for it, and this is a gi no gi, right? So when I'm going for <laughs> and I got in there, as soon as they realize I'm going for that, they do the leap arm and they call, you see? He's bringing his arm and that's like, yeah, I'm gonna lose that, right? But here's the cool thing. I can totally undone what I did. I'm going to grab on the back of his triceps right here, and I'm going to do here arm drag on it. That's incredible. You see, and I on his back. That's incredible. So I really That's like right. that position because, you know, okay, I'm missing it, I'm losing right. it, but I get to the point where I'm still getting some out of it. Got it. So one more time over here. So you have these shoots. You have like thumbing on my collar, right? Yes, so uh, four fingers outside, right? Thumb yeah. inside, okay? Yeah. That's a very unusual, let's say in that way, you know, grip. Yeah, I agree. And then your arm goes underneath my arm and you lock a here neck choke on your arm. Mm -hmm. so, so what I do is I open a little bit, so I yeah. kick that leg up and I push in that leg through, right? Yeah. So that opens that window yeah. where I shoot my arm yeah. straight. You see, I'm flat on my back now. Yeah. Okay, so I... Open my uh, elbow with you because I don't want you to come right here and yeah. then I need to do that. So I want, I like to come like straight down, right? And sink my hand in there. That's incredible. Okay, so when I get there, then I can I could crush from ah. here though, you know, it's already painful, yeah. right? But to the, get the choke, I just gotta move my bottom shoulder away from him. And that yeah. does the job. Yeah, no, that's incredible. No, that's amazing. I've never seen that before. And it makes a total sense because and, and, it, and you can do gi and no gi. Yes. In a no gi, the only difference will be there's no, you know, uh, uh, the 
the lapel in there. Yep. So normally what I tell my, my, my students, just place your hand there or even do a fist yeah. right there. You know, when you go and then you go yeah, that's push. That's incredible. And if I pull my arm, you have yeah. your arm dragged over there. Yeah, that's, yeah, right that's, there. Right. that's incredible. Yep. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, so guys, uh, Guys, also, uh, Fabiano has two jiu-jitsu schools in the Portland area, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're ever in the Portland area, make sure to check that out. I've been there also, and it's incredible. And he's one of the best instructors I know. So make sure to check that out. And also make sure to check his instructional that he's just finished filming, all about borrow game attacks. And it's going to be at BGJ Fanatics very soon. So by the time you're watching, maybe it's already there. So thanks so much, Fabiano. Thank appreciate you. it. Please help me out to grow my YouTube channel. Just click subscribe. And to watch more videos, just click under see more videos. I hope you enjoyed. BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.